Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create a flowchart using Tixi. In order to save time, I have filled in a few things in this article already. So the document class, the packages that we are going to use, the document, begin document, end document, and begin Tixi picture, and end Tixi picture. So if you want um, to learn what is Tixi and what kind of stuff we can do, check out the previous tutorial where we talk about the basic stuff that you can do in Tixi. Okay, so let's get started with the flowchart. So the first thing when you are creating a complex image like a flowchart which contains multiple things, the first thing is that you define the styles of your building blocks. For instance, in a flowchart, you're going to have some decision boxes which are diamond shaped then you go, you're going to have blocks which are rectangles then you'll have some lines and then you might have some ellipses so let's create the styles for them so that we have a consistent look and feel of our flowchart so for that you go tixi style then you name your style so let's say we call decision and what is it going to be it is going to be a diamond and draw. if you want to fill it you can specify a color here i'll use blue 50 because this is kind of a good color and i'm not going to use any other option right now but we will add some later then we need a style for the lines that connect each other that is going to be an arrow and the style is I'm using this here but we'll see different styles I'm gonna come back and reject this later then you need to have Tixi style for let me call it um, ellipses Ele. it's for ellipse so you always put draw because you want to draw something Oops, and fill equals to another favorite of mine red 50 then um, you also need blocks for the inputs Dixie style Oops, slash Dixie style and let's call it a block so this will be rectangle rectangle here and fill equals so let's um, keep it consistent with the decision because they are both boxes okay so there you stop there and then you start your picture so it's like you defined your CSS first and then inside the HTML you code for your tags and then statements so that is um, LaTeX that way is actually a markup language so it's similar to HTML so if that is easy for you to remember that way you can do that okay so now everything that we have created is called a node so if you want to put a block so you just say block and um, you give it a name let me call it start and then you give it a caption let me call it start I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna run it here. So we figured that this is too small, so we'll make our block bigger. We'll say text width equals to 15 em, and that will make it bigger, right? What about height? We can control the height, saying minimum height equals to 15 mm. 15 might not be that way let's see okay so this makes kind of sense here right now um so 15 mm 15 mm now your text should be centered so for that what i'm going to do is i'll put one statement don't worry about it Lock. text centered uh -huh. Okay. Oh. So we have centered our text here. 
So that was easy. Now let's say um, we create a process now, node block. So that is my style. This is going to be um, process one. label will also be process one what happens so it is exactly where start was we don't want that we want it below of start so this start is this name okay so we are telling it that go below start make sense now um let me add one more line comma node distance equals to 5 pm just that makes sense so you add the node distance and then it will automatically understand that you want it to appear that far from each other so you can change that and um, you can control it now um, let's say you want to create another node which is on the left of start and you want to call it user you name it user too so you have user on the left of start again the same problem because you don't have the um, control on how it is going to display right so there is another thing that you can do um, for that um, what you need to do is where is it you can control that with x dist um, I guess it was x x um, let me recall that okay it x shift actually and um, it's positive if you want to put it on the right side negative if you want want to put it left so let's say 10 am and let's see the effect make sense so you can control the x shift and even the y shift if you want it to appear between these two so y shift if you want to push it down it goes negative Now, if, what if you don't want it to be a block? You want it to be a ellipse. So you put it that way. So same thing. We'll increase the minimum height and distance of ellipse 2. And it will appear better. And what I want you to do, I'll take maybe X shift was okay. But we don't want the Y shift. What I want is that the user puts an arrow, arrow in the start. Let me not put both things. And this is fine. Maybe I'll make it 20. Then um, you want a decision. So let's create a process too first, real quick. here and I'll call it process 2 process 2 and this is below of process 1 so we have process 1 process 2 start everything is fine now what I want you want to do is I want to put a decision here between process 1 and process 2 or let's do something um, let's put the process one here process two there and put a decision here and no goes here yes goes there that makes more sense right so this is left of start so let's change a bit and process one is left of process two is right of Watch this. Did I 
make a mistake. Um, let's see. Left of start. Right of start. Above of, sorry, not top of. I'll run it now. Oops. Okay. So, no distance is not playing that good. So, left of start and x shift as you would know negative 20 em and this will need to be zero because we want it to be on top of exactly on top of and this will go here let's see too far away huh So it's a process where you try and learn. So user need to go above Y shift equals to 10 EM. And this is getting out of bounds of the paper. We'll talk about that in a minute. <coughs> right now what I'm going to do is that Minimum height is fine. Minimum eight, eight. And this could be five. I'm trying to keep it inside the layers of the page. Okay, this makes sense now. Okay, <coughs> so now we want to put a decision here. So what I'll do is that I'll say node and decision below of equals to start. And we'll call it decision one. And it is process one. So it is kind of asks us if you want it to be process one. So same thing for decision. Let's see. Y shift equals negative Y V M. Okay. Now if it says yes, in that case you want it to go to process one. If it says no, you want it to, it to go to process two. Now for that <coughs> interesting thing is arrows so now we let's move to the arrows so we have this so I'm not going to touch these ones we'll only draw an arrow so from user to start so for that you can say path and the line that we had here remember for that line um, you say start at user and go to start it will draw a line from user to start that's it so you're done there and look at this arrowhead if you want to change that there are a few options So that is one of the options if you want something stealth it's a little different then you can make it thicker super thicker so it's a little thick than before then um, second thing you want a line from start to decision one then obviously you want to line from decision one to now this is interesting 
where do you want that line to go? You want that line to go to process one. Watch this. But you don't want it to go that way. You want it to go horizontally first and then vertically. So horizontally first and then vertically. See how it takes care of that. Looks a little better. Now you want to add a yes here. So for that what you can do is that um, you create another node. Let's see if would it work. It works but the placement is not right. So for placement you can say near process one. Oops, it didn't work. Sorry, not process one. This actually is a different. So near start where the line starts, or go back to the best basic x shift if you don't want to change the x axis just want to change the x axis just say 0 0.5 pm that actually puts it on top of that line negative, not negative 5 0 0.5 right. it's not y axis y shift that was five and didn't wasn't it? Okay. So this is a bow and you definitely need X shift. Wait, why do I get one there? Here. Comma X shift equals two. You want it to go right. So let's say ten. Yeah. Now Similarly, you want a line from here to there, and I'll just copy it. You want it to go from decision one to process two, and Y shift is fine. On X shift, you want it to be negative, then wouldn't you? Okay. And you don't want it to say yes, you want it to say no. And that's it. That is a simple flowchart how you draw it in LaTeX. Okay, so we'll stop here and if you have questions, feel free to ask me.